Today, talking about an important tip for beginners around manipulating and viewing your assemblies and your parts. Hey, Tyler, back with Tech and Espresso. Today, we're talking about the View Cube, and this thing is your friend. So let's look at it. When you click on any faces, it's going to change your camera angle and look at the perspective. You can imagine this object is the view cube. And if you hit the right face, it's going to go to that right camera angle. You also can click on it and just kind of drag it around, which allows you to orbit. You can click on the home, which takes you to a saved camera view, which is effectively this, what you would call an isometric view. When you hover over the faces, you'll notice you can also go to top corners and edges. So I can go kind of to the top edge here. I can go to this corner view, this corner view, and it's changing the camera with each change. Whenever you're on a particular face, you can rotate by 90 degrees. You also can uh, rotate the cube um, in these directional 90s as well. So with these arrows, you can effectively achieve just about anything. Let's look at a few other things. When you go to this pull down, there is um, some things to be aware of. The camera view in which you're you know, looking at your model, you can be orthographic and perspective. So I'm gonna save this topic just for uh, its own little video, but um, you can adjust your home camera. So. What does that mean? Well, first thing, you can get this just where you want it. So say you want it to be far away, which is kind of strange, but we'll go to the pull down. We'll set a current view as a fixed distance. And now this is our home view. And that does affect our other views, front view, top view, everything. If I go to the home view, you can see it locks into what we had before. If we want to reset that, choose the reset home make sure that that setting, the fixed distance, is now back to fit to view. And now when I hit home again, it resets and views in. You also can change, so if you imported something from Thingiverse or got a model from someone else, it might have come in like this, that that's the front view and that's not what you want. So you can you either use the view cube to manipulate it or you can kind of put the view how you would want it. So maybe this is um, your isometric view, or um, let's say that, you know, how about, there we go, that's my front, and right now it's bottom. You can go to the pull down, and you can set that current view as front. But my home view is still kind of this, you know, strange isometric view, it's, the, it's what I had before. So if I go to my front view, and then go up to that angled face, do that, you know, what was normally the home view or isometric view. I'm going to now set that as home. So now my, my views behave differently now that I've reset the camera views for this model. Hey, if you're looking for a beginner's video, check out this hinge tutorial. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button for me. I'll see you in the next video.